Tonight, two bills that restrict transgender rights for Missouri kids is headed to Governor Mike Parson's desk, and he says he will sign them. One requires athletes to compete on sports teams aligned with their sex assigned at birth. The other would ban transgender health care for children under the age of 18. Our Laura Barczewski is here to explain what this means for young people seeking gender affirming care. Laura. Mike and Ann sponsors and supporters of this legislation say they are trying to protect children from making irreversible decisions. But parents and organizations supporting transgender children say they're actually doing the opposite. Senate Bill 49 prevents new transgender patients who are under the age of 18 from seeking out gender affirming care for the next four years. They are not allowed to, you know, uh, temporarily pause the changes in their body so that they can have that time to really understand who they are. Teens and kids who are already on a treatment plan have nothing to worry about for now, but those who want to start treatment are going to have to leave the state. Mike Walk has a transgender teen and he's grateful they started her therapies years ago. We're grateful for our kid that we get to stay here, that she gets to finish high school with all the friends that she's made and the teachers and administrators that she knows. Um, so there's that and we can hope still for a, a victory in the courts. Senator Mike Moon, the sponsor of the bill, says, quote, this bill prohibits the chemical mutation and physical castration of minors. Other supporters say they have one goal in mind. I don't see this as an LGBTQ issue. I see this as an issue to protect young children. Governor Mike Parson says, quote, all children, regardless of their gender or orientation, are invaluable and should not be subjected to potentially irreversible surgeries and treatments prior to adulthood. But those who are opposed say this bill is harmful. With legislation like this, it's purely done for political reasons. There's often an, a, a bad aftermath for a lot of people. Robert Fisher with Promo says people are already experiencing the negative effects of this legislation. Just discussion of these bills alone throughout the five month session is damaging to youth's mental health. Um, it increases their risk to suicide and it increases their um, you know, overall anxiety about the fact that people are debating whether or not they even exist. Walk says it's upsetting that other children might not be able to have the same experience his daughter has in being her true self. Her mental state is far, far better since she began taking the hormones and she feels, she feels good. It's wonderful to see. It's important to note this also impacts adults on Medicaid, which will no longer cover gender affirming care in the state. Again, the governor says he'll sign this bill and the sports one as well. Both will go into effect on August 28th.